The black wing virus was the deadly pathogen that transformed all those who it came into contact with into hordes of ravenous zombies. But what exactly is the black wing virus and where does it come from? Now, it's important to note that majority of the content surrounding the Blackwing virus is now considered to be Star Wars Legends. For this reason, when we talk about specific characters and their involvement in this lore, it has to be taken with a pretty big pinch of salt because some of them might not technically exist anymore. But I want to give you a general overview of what this virus is. So, the original Blackwing virus was created thousands of years before the Clone Wars by a Sith Lord named Darth Dreer. Drea had a Sith Academy created on the frozen world of Odyssea Foston. Specialising in Sith alchemy, he was attempting to create an elixir for immortality. Now, the key ingredient for this was a special flower known as a Murakai Black Orchid. This flower was actually force sensitive and rich in midichlorians, however there was a flaw with this solution. It caused a sickness that would cause the body to quickly decay until death and eventually reanimation, becoming a drone of the orchid. Now, Drea attempted to undo this by creating a solution to stop the decay by sacrificing a powerful Jedi with a specially designed blade to use the Jedi's power to sustain his decaying body. However, the plot failed and the virus eventually killed Drea. Now, the Academy survived and eventually came under the control of another Sith Lord, Darth Scarabus. He discovered Drea's secret laboratory and became obsessed with creating the Immortality Potion. For this reason, he began kidnapping the weaker of his own pupils to test on his experiments and to brew the elixir in their bodies whilst it came to potency. Now, he did eventually manage to turn one of his students, but without the cure, the student decayed and was reanimated, breaking free. This led to an outbreak all across the academy, eventually making it overrun by the dead. The Blackwing virus, being made up of dark Sith alchemy, was an incredibly unique disease. Containing the Force-sensitive orchid made the disease somewhat self-aware. It was smart, and its goal was simple, to spread to as many people as possible. The disease infected nearly all species. Many suffered violent hallucinations as their bodies decayed around them, and some even claimed that the plague spoke to them during their waning moments. It was often spread through a grey liquid that oozed from the infected, meaning any crossing of DNA would spread the infection. However, it could also be refined into a gas, allowing it to spread through the air and much more effectively. Now, we know that the disease is incredibly smart, as after infecting and killing numerous people, the gas's reanimation process will not begin until enough people are infected to cause a mass breakout. Not only did the disease spread to humanoids and majority of other species, but it could also infect plants as well as other creatures. It's recorded that during an outbreak on Daphomir, a rancor became infected, making a zombie rancor. At first, infectees of the virus were simple stalkers. They were able to communicate primitively through shrieks. However, they were relatively slow and unagile due to necrosis. But those infected were not totally brain dead. Although who they were was long gone, they were capable of learning to use blasters, pilot ships, and even operate a tractor beam. This was the case when the Galactic Empire attempted to create the Deadly Plague to use against its enemies. After the Star Destroyer holding the virus leaked it into the ship's airflow, the crew became infected and turned, resulting in the ship drifting into space. Here, it ran into an Imperial prison transport, where the long-deceased crew used a tractor beam to dock with them. However, it wasn't the zombies that spread the pathogen. When the ship's crew boarded the Star Destroyer, they inhaled the tainted air. Within days, the crew were falling ill at record paces and were attempted to be treated. However, the prisoners weren't. Believing their biohazard gear and shielding would prevent a mass epidemic, the prisoners and crew all turned, all manner of species becoming part of one big undead army. Armour and shielding was useless. The infinite amount of drones of these armies were filled with an insatiable hunger and rage. They would attack and eat any creature they came into contact to and turn it for their own. It's even said that they would gnaw on their lips and chew their own arms if there was no prey to hunt, cannibalising one another. However, this only made the rotting bodies even more terrifying in stature. Now, there are a few ways to counteract the plague, aside from Drea's sacrifice method. Some people were naturally immune. This in Legends actually saved Han Solo and Chewbacca, who were aboard the prison ship. Thankfully, the doctor on board managed to synthesise a blood sample from another prisoner and gave it to the smugglers. 
Ultimately, the Blackwing virus was a smart and lethal plague that could have caused chaos if given the chance, leaving everything it touched as part of an undead cannibalistic army. In the next video, I want to do a rethink about what would happen if there was a larger outbreak of the Blackwing virus, a galactic zombie apocalypse if you will. If that sounds like something that you'd like to see, please tell me below and I'll slap a like on the video as it's always appreciated and really helps the channel grow. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at the Law Guy for regular updates. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.